My mind's made up. I'll take the latter for me platter. Then come here, boy, and bring me joy. The beast with two backs is never coy. Let's get up see, my beauty queen. The look of love is in her eyes. The look of love is in his trousers. I think that people will love Broken because it's a really unique voice. It's a really fun contemporary comedy that does a really unique thing with Shakespearean text and with Burkhoffian kind of style and physicality. It melds things together, but not in a come and be educated. It's absolutely come and be entertained kind of a way. I would defy anyone to leave feeling like, oh, I've seen that kind of thing a hundred times before. It's really unique. I just discovered Burkhoff. Um... I'd been in a production of West in uh, the Assembly Rooms in Edinburgh and discovering his work was just like one of the most exciting things for me as an actor and as a writer. Um, I'd never read anything like it before. I'd never heard about him at drama school, I'd never heard about him like on other acting courses I'd done and so yeah after that I just kind of had it in my head that I wanted to write a play and I wanted to write it in that style like taking Shakespeare and modern dialogue and kind of fusing it together. Imagine Shakespeare, the bard, Shakers, writes, EastEnders, Only Fools and Horses, and Greece. It's really girl meets boy, and imagine Rizzo and Kat Slater meets Rodney slash Alfie. And yeah, you've got, you've got broken. Oh love, I would I wear thy bird for all time. Yet even all of eternity, time's infinity, is but a needle in a haystack or a piss in the sea. How long I'd like to spend with thee. Oh, thou hast cleft my eye in twain. <gasps> Don't leave off. <laughs> Thy beauty does haunt me in my sleep. Thy snoring does haunt me in my wake. Which is why I was attracted to it and which is why I think other people will be attracted to it. Um, and as such, I think people, if anyone wants to donate, it's coming on the ground floor because we feel like we're going a long way with this. So, you know, come and support, you know, fresh, vibrant theatre. We would be able to do fantastic things that we wouldn't be able to do before um, with this project. So I wouldn't be saying this if I wasn't excited about it. We really need to raise um, money in order to help us fund um, the project going up to Edinburgh um, and all the kind of costs that we have. We really want to get the word out there as well, get people, you know, try to kind of generate as much publicity for the show as we can, get people talking about it, get a buzz going. So we're going to Edinburgh to the Free Fringe, um, which is fantastic because it enabled, the Free Fringe enables uh, projects to, to put stuff on for, for very little outlay, but of course there is financial outlay. So really the only thing is, is that we want to make the most of this that we can. Um, we know that we can put on a play and take it to Edinburgh and make it happen and people will come and see it, but we want to get this in front of as much public as possible um, and then to transfer it to, to a fantastic venue in London. So much work has gone into it and so much passion and I'd just love to see it soar because it really deserves it. It's fantastic new writing, the best people behind it, so let's make it happen and we really need you for that.